So we're going to look at the difference between strong and weak acids and what that means on your electrolyte table. We know what acids are. Now we need to figure out the difference between, between strong acids and weak acids. Okay. So in general, in water, all acids are going to dissociate. Okay, so you're going to have your H plus ion and then whatever the anion is. So, um, two random example. Okay, so we have hydrochloric acid and we have acetic acid. Okay, and typically, right, your acids are hydrogen donors. So they're giving away hydrogen. Usually you'll see an H at the start. Not always, there are some rule breaker acids, but it's just a, a good, you know, kind of like 99% of the time, you'll usually see an H up front to tell you, aha, this is going to dissociate, it's going to break up to be an H plus cation with whatever that anion is, H plus cation with whatever the anion is, okay? So that's in general what an acid is, but not all acids will dissociate 100%. Okay, strong acids, when they are put into water, they will all dissociate. So every single HCl molecule, because HCl hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, every single HCl is going to break apart to be H plus and Cl minus 100% of the time, 99.999% of the time. Okay, weak acids do not fully dissociate. Okay, they don't break up all the time. In fact, they stay together as acetic acid, as this HC2H3O2 molecule, more than they break apart into their ions. That's the big difference. Okay, so strong acids are going to fully dissociate. Weak acids are going to not fully dissociate and favor staying as a, as a molecule. Okay, so... Okay, so there's some dissociation with weak acids. There's a ton of dissociation for strong acids. Dissociation just means it's dissolving, right? It's it's breaking apart into their cations and anions. Okay, so let's look at uh, what these things would actually look like in a solution, okay? Uh, oh God, I am sorry about my drawings. <laughs> okay, all right. So we have two beakers of water and we're gonna have a strong acid versus a weak acid, okay? And to make life easy, we'll do HCl and H, C2, H3, O2. Okay, so hydrochloric acid and acetic acid, just like the ones we were literally looking at on the last page, okay? So if I drop some strong acid into solution, I'm going to get H plus and Cl, mi Cl minus ions 100% of the time. Okay, you can see this, right? They, I know, my, my drawings are just beautiful, sorry. Okay, but they will all dissociate, all of them, right? So I have a ton of ions in the solution. However, weak acids, okay? Weak acids will favor staying together as a molecule. So I'm gonna get a lot of acetic acids, C2H3O2, that are still just together as a molecule. I will get some that dissociate. So I'll get like an H plus here and an acetate ion here, right? So I do have some dissociation, but in general, they favor staying together as a molecule, okay? Minus H plus. So if you were looking at this and you were told, like you were asked what is in, uh, you know, what's in this actual solution, for your strong acids, you would have only ions, okay? For your weak acids, you would have ions and molecules. 
right? So here's your ions, but you still have molecules. So make sure that if you were asked like what's in a weak solution, you have both ions and molecules, okay? If, however, you have a strong acid, you get it, all right? Now both strong and weak acids, you're still gonna have your AQ as your state of matter subscript, okay? Because they both are aqueous. They do dissolve in water, right? They do dissociate in water. Weak acids just don't dissociate 100% of the time. They still get the AQ uh, subscript, okay? Just be aware of that. All right, so that's what they look like in solution. And on your beautiful electrolytes page, okay, if you look down here, it says behavior completely dissociates versus does not dissociate much for strong and weak. And then it says tie and ni, okay, T-I-E and N-I-E. So that's for your total ionic equations and your net ionic equations, okay? So whenever we're writing out those total and net ionic equations, it tells you to write the ions as AQ, and it says to write the formula with AQ. Okay, so it tells you basically what to do, just so you know what Ti and Ni mean. And then the other thing to just help you, okay, there are seven strong acids. All right, you have your halogens, nitrate, chlorates, sulfates. Okay, so your halogens are going to be HCl, HBr, HI. Okay, for your halogens. Your nitrate is going to be H, NO3, right? So you've got halogens and then you've got your 8s, 888. Okay, nitrate, chlorate, sulfate. And your chlorate, you're actually going to have two different chlorates. You're going to have perchlorate and chlorate. So you're going to have uh, your HClO4. HClO3 and sulfate is going to be your H2SO4 and this one is a weird one okay sulfuric acid because when it dissociates it's only the first hydrogen that's attached to the sulfate that that is a strong acid so you'll get the H plus and then you'll get the HSO4 minus so there is another hydrogen to donate here but this would now act like a weak acid okay so that may be a little bit beyond where we are, but just so you know, right, all of these will dissociate. These are your seven strong acids. Seven, right? Three, six, yes. Okay. <laughs> seven. Uh, and, and they'll all dissociate 100%. Okay? And for your sulfate, you're just getting that one hydrogen coming off with this. If You need to know how they break apart. So how to determine if, if uh, you have a strong or a weak acid? Basically, memorize these seven. Okay? Which is not that hard. You've got halogens, nitrate, two chlorates, and sulfate. Okay, if you can remember that, you're good because every other acid is a weak acid that we will deal with in regular chem, okay, in Chem 2A. So that's that, okay? So hopefully that will help you figure out your electrolyte table for the acid section, okay? Good luck.